and just coming into view some of the uh, plumes occurring throughout the state. As you can see, just passing into the left of the view, uh, one of the uh, larger plumes, presumably from the wildfires occurring within the state. Also in view is the Colorado River. As you heard, uh, NASA astronaut Mike Fossum also on board and monitoring the views and uh, likely gathering some images uh, using the still photos, still cameras on board as well. The space station itself continuing on a northeasterly track now uh, over the coast of Louisiana. This view uh, looking back, looking back towards the state of Texas. This view from a handheld camera uh, by Mike Fossum in the cupola. Switching now to a view from the camera mounted on the exterior of the spacecraft, the communications and tracking officer reporting uh, best views from the port or left side of the vehicle. Looking back towards the state of Texas as the vehicle continues uh, to travel 17,500 miles per hour on a northeasterly track across the United States. The International Space Station now just approaching West Virginia, but still looking back towards the state of Texas, where plumes from the numerous wildfires are still viewable. Fossum himself uh, grew up in Texas specifically in McAllen, Texas, which is located in the southern portion of the state. He's uh, relayed several sentimental comments about his uh, attachment to the state. He's an extensive outdoorsman and has spent a lot of time backpacking and hiking throughout the state. He attended McAllen High School and also uh, Texas A&M University, where he 
graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Later, he also graduated from the University of Houston Clare Lake uh, with a Master's in Physical Science and a Master's in Systems Engineering from the Air Force Institute of Technology. So, of course, these uh, wildfires of personal interest uh, to astronaut Mike Fossum.